Hi, this is Skipan. I know it's been quite some time since I last made a video, so today I kind of wanted to make this to explain what I've been doing lately, as well as a few things that have been on my mind, like perfectionism, as well as consistency. So for the past two months, I've been working on this big project. It was a music video with my friends, Flight Academy, and so for those that don't know, besides art, besides drawing, I mainly work on music videos and other kind of video production. So. I spent a lot of time working on this video that was very close to me, very personal because I directed it, I edited it, I was in it, I was in it with my grandfather, and it's this big, massive project that spanned two different countries, uh, one terabyte of footage, and it took me about a month to edit it all together, and the shooting was also quite some time, so that's why I've been gone. But while working on this, I really found myself to be going back to these perfectionist tendencies that I had quite some time ago, especially in my drawings. I used to spend a whole month on just one piece. I would redraw the sketch, I would redo the line art, and I would color multiple, multiple times. I would do, especially the hair, as I think everyone knows, I really enjoy coloring hair, but I would just color it, the next day I would wake up, redo it, and that would actually continue for maybe three or four days. So in the past I've often had these perfectionist tendencies where I become hyper-focused on one thing, trying to get a look that I want or something along those lines, and I stop washing the dishes, I stop thinking about exercise and doing all these things, and really it does start to affect my life in a negative way. Even this video, this is about the third time that I'm reshooting it because I wanted to get a perfect frame, I wanted to get perfect lighting, all this other stuff, and really I wanted to speak to the people that have a similar tendency, and that is that consistency is going to be much better than perfectionism. Uh, one aspect of that would be diminishing returns. I feel that whenever I work on a project, whether it's a video or a drawing, I can get it to about 90% where I want it to be. And every so often I get greedy and I want to have another little 10% to get it to 100%. But I find that that 10% often takes just as long as it took me to get to 90%. And I think that 10% better is not worth 90% of that time. But rather, if you wrap things up at 90% satisfaction, you're gonna have a lot more time to work on more projects, be more consistent, and that's going to give you so much more experience to one day be able to get those ideas in your head and put them onto paper, make them into a video, or whatever it is that you wanna do. I often find, especially with drawing, that the key to success is through consistency. The more I practice, the more I improve. And through little incremental improvements, I'm able to make these big breakthroughs. But if I'm only doing one drawing a month, you're not allowing yourself to have those incremental improvements. You're just trying to shove it all into one thing. I find that the times that I practice the most, that I set a time limit for a drawing, these are the times that I really improve, as well as when I look back on something, I can see that improvement. Maybe when you're so passionate about something, it's difficult to see the improvement. Just like when you look at yourself in the mirror every day, it's difficult to see change. But if you've ever tried to exercise or learn an instrument or do these different things where maybe you're not so passionate about it, you really get to see those improvements maybe from another person's perspective easier. But when you're so focused on the things that you enjoy, you, it does become easy to lose sight of that. And I think the biggest impact of the perfectionist versus consistency topic that I wanted to do in this video is that the more time I find myself spending away from something, whether it is exercise or drawing or video making, the more difficult it is for me to get back. I start to make more excuses and I find it to be difficult to get back into the process. So even if you sacrifice a little bit on the quality, if you continue to do it, you'll find that you will improve and the next day will be better. I think everyone can find a good example to relate to this, but for me at least, I find that with exercise, even if I'm not feeling it that day, I need to go and exercise so that I can continue on the next day and maybe in a few more days, I'll finally have that big breakthrough and have a great session. Whereas if I just skip a day, it might lead to me skipping another day and another day, and then it becomes this big daunting task that I don't want to do. So the best thing is to stay consistent. Even if you're not feeling it, go out, try it, do it, and you'll see that that is the key to success. Gradual improvement, consistency. So I hope this video can help someone. If you're someone like me that finds yourself to be hyper-focused on one thing, uh, very much perfectionist, maybe try to be more consistent, 
set the bar a little bit lower so that you can actually reach your goals. I'm always available in the comments. I can't always cover everything that I want to talk about in these videos, but feel free to reach out. I'm always available. Once again, thank you so much to Flight Academy for providing music for the channel. They also released an album at the same time as this music video that we worked on, and I'll put links to both of those in the description below. I'm Skipen, and I'll see you soon.